Hey guys, so I'm doing another <clears throat> real estate investment uh, deal I worked on. Um, <clears throat> for this property, I have a big regret because this is a property I did with a family member. Um, and I totally regret it because I did make the real estate commission off this deal. But unfortunately for now, I am not an owner of this property. Um, there's a good possibility because it is a close family member, uh, member of mine that... In the future, it might be willed to me or I'll get a portion of it or maybe they'll help me in the future. But I really regret this deal because I should have just bought it myself. I already had another partner. I would have bought it 50-50 with another partner. But because this other person was a family member, I was like, you know what? I'm going to help them get this property because I know it's a good deal. And I actually ended up doing a lot of work, a lot of management for them. And I'm not like unhappy because obviously I still learn from this deal and uh in the future, I definitely won't make the mistake, but um, just be careful when you work with family because sometimes they just don't appreciate your work. And like I said, for now, I don't own any of this property. I just made the real estate commission on it, which wasn't bad. Uh, I made like 3% of 500 grand, so about 15 grand. But to this day, this was probably the best home deal that I worked on. And it was actually in 2013. I stopped buying properties in 2013 and I really regret it. I went to graduate school at USC. And to be honest, I should have waited on getting my MBA, my master's in business. I should have continued to buy properties, take the money because it was 120 grand for the MBA program. And I could have bought a property like this and I could have bought maybe two more. And instead of doing a, a, an MBA, because I know this is really popular for people. Oh, let me go get more educated because I hate my job or I hate my stuff. I think it's bogus. I think everyone here who's following this channel gets something called an executive MBA. It's a one-year MBA. It requires you to work for 10 years, which I think is really important. I don't think an MBA really helps unless you... Uh, um, <laughs> unless you need it for your corporate job to like move up. I, I think an, an executive MBA is much better because first off, if you do it through USC, it's much cheaper. I believe it's only 60,000 and it's one year instead of, you know, I did a three year MBA for 120 grand and it's a better network. Everyone has more than 10 years of work experience. So um, anyways, let's just go ahead and focus on this deal. So the reason why this deal kicks ass is um, let's take a look. So well, let's just look at the value. So this is supposed to be worth one point one five million. So about, yeah, one point one five million. So let's go look at this price. And I am going to cringe because once again, guys, sorry, I don't own this home. I just made broker commission. I should have bought it. I already had another partner. I could have been 50 50 owners. But look what this pro property was purchased for five fifty five fifty like it really bothers me. And so just so you know, I didn't get the full commission because it did put down Laura Langford. Um, so I brought that real estate agent in, in at the time. I did, and I basically took half the commission. She made the other half. So actually, I didn't even make 15 grand. I only made seven and a half grand. So now I'm even a little more salty. But anyways, 550 and it's now worth 1.1 million, 1.5. So as you can tell, and this property was bought in 2011. Okay, cool. So the mistake I made here is this property is in a city called Irvine, which has really good schools, it has like the best schools in Orange County and public education is getting shittier and shittier um, in the US. So going somewhere like Irvine, where you basically get private school education makes it like a really good deal because private schools are not cheap. They're 40, 50 grand, at least around where I am. So people will overpay for real estate because you get to then send your kids to a good school. And I made this mistake. Um, the only thing I bought in Irvine was recently, I unfortunately didn't buy anything in this Irvine market when I was buying all my other properties. So just so you know, go through my other videos. Um, you know, I didn't pay anything for 550. I think like the properties uh, I've shown one, one I paid 515 and the other one I paid um, 410. But like, look, I mean, sometimes it's, it's, it's worth it to pay a little bit more, get in a nicer location, a nicer area and boom, you know, this 550 investment in 2011. So let's just do the math with me guys. And by the way, this property is right now collecting like, cause I still help manage it. It collects anywhere from, I believe it's almost now $6,000 uh, of rent a month, which I bet for the rest of the US, you guys are like, what the hell? Like California is so overpriced, which it is, it is. But um, so let's just do that math. So for, and I would just say, 
it's been collecting about an average of 5,000. So um, it's now been seven years. And so in seven years, it went from 550 to 1.1. So it, it basically doubled in value. It went up 100%. And in seven years, you've been collecting uh, seven times six. Um, my math is like, so 420 grand of rent. This is another amazing investment. And so once again, the down payment on this is not going to be cheap. If you're putting down uh, 20%, that's 110 grand and everyone's going to be like, oh my God, I can't afford that. So if you haven't had a chance, go through my other video. You can do something called an FHA loan. And I'm sure outside of the US too, they have first home buyer programs, but it only makes sense when you're buying in a down market. If you did this deal, um, like I said, if you were the idiot who bought in 2004, look what you paid for it, 800 grand. And if you buy real estate right now, this that you're going to be that donkey, okay? You're going to be the donkey that's paying 800 grand. And then what do you know? Uh, this is going to take a little longer, but six years later, seven years later, someone comes and buys it for 30% less. And uh, remember, when you go negative on your mortgage, it's a really bad thing. So no matter what, if you're buying properties, you got to figure out a way where you're positive on your mortgage. And the easiest way is to find houses or find properties with a lot of bedrooms, seven bedrooms. And you got Airbnb, you got Craigslist, you got all these other sites. You can easily rent these rooms. It's not hard. And I will probably make another video on how I did it because this is basically how my bread and butter. I was finding homes in Orange County that were six bedrooms and up. I bought one that was five bedrooms. And I basically, at least in the beginning, I started renting all the rooms. Now, I scaled this business. So I once I got to enough properties, it wasn't worth my time to constantly rent the room. So eventually I stopped doing that because now I was managing more properties and I ended up just uh, renting the entire house to people. And that's my business model right now. I have too many homes to try to rent rooms. So I just try to find a solid tenant put them in there as long as I can and keep it rented. And obviously these prices are pretty ridiculous, you know, for most of the U S and, you know, most people watching, but, um, the nice thing is because these properties are so overpriced, you get pretty good tenants. You get good tenants with lots of money, lots of income. So they're not going to mess it up. So if you do go with cheaper properties, you just know that you're going to deal with some crazy tenants. You're going to deal with a lot more headache, but at the same time, it's a good learning experience. I, I and and to be honest, um, the lower priced area that I didn't buy in was Santa Ana, and there's a lot of upside in that market. And to be honest, the next downturn because I don't know if I'm going to deal with homes anymore. I'm try, I'm trying to go up to like 12 units and 16 units. Um, I definitely will uh, try to uh, go for bigger fish. Um, but I haven't done that yet. So for, for now, I've been buying just homes. And like I said, uh, I'll go over some of my other real estate deals, but I pretty much stopped in 2012. And I do have a great uh, Vegas deal that I will go over. And I bought that Vegas property actually last year. Um, so here we go. We're talking about uh, real estate, but what I would do right now is I would not buy any real estate. I would for sure, for sure invest in cryptocurrency. I would definitely put some money in the stock market, but be very careful. And then I would be hoarding cash. Hoard as much cash as you can, because when the market comes down again, you should try to buy some real estate. Um, when prices come down, uh, it's going to be another opportunity. And like I said, just let's just look at this home. You know, you can buy and let's just make it simpler numbers, because I know there's areas where instead of a property being 50, 550,000, I'm pretty sure if you look hard enough, depending on where you live, you can probably find a house in a recession for 55 grand. And if you want to buy a house for 3% down and it's 55 grand, that's going to be like $1,500 maybe a little bit less. I don't know. So you guys can do this, but for now, what you want to do is save up money, put it into crypto, put it in the stock market. And your goal should first just be, let me make, let me get to a thousand. And you might have to work two jobs. You might have to do side hustles. You might have to tutor, bartend, whatever, but just get to that thousand. When you get to the thousand, get to then 10,000. When you get to 10,000, get to 20,000, 30,000. And by the time you're there, the, the real estate market has crashed and then you can look for some real estate rentals. So uh, continue to watch this channel. Um, uh, eventually I'm going to run out of real estate deals that I can do. So what I do want to do, and I know people have been trolling my guests that I brought on here, but I do want to bring in other real estate investors to talk about their real estate deals. And hopefully they bought when the market was down. Um, 
So if you are following this channel, please subscribe. Um, and like I said, I can't talk about my own real estate deals forever. So eventually I do need to find other people to talk about it. And like I said, in the future, I do want to invest in real estate, not just in California. So hopefully I can meet some people that are in different states in the United States. And then I do want to do it internationally too. So if you are watching internationally, maybe um, in the future, I can be one of your investors and we can do some deals together. So thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.